I'm currently working on putting back together this 1938 Continental 100 portable typewriter and its interesting mechanics pushed me towards making a quick video showing you how the margin and tabulator rack worked on this. It is quite different from other machines that I've seen and it's a mechanism I have not encountered before but um, the simplicity and overall brilliance of the design make what just was surprising to me that it wasn't used uh, more frequent at this time. Now, if you look on the back here, and this is normally um, covered by a panel, which I'm about to put back on once I have uh, buffed this a little bit. Um, you see here the what looks like an ordinary tab stop rack, which has the teeth that move in and outwards in order to um, uh, stop the carriage on the catch that is usually mounted on the back here. But this also doubles as your margin stops. Now the way that works is that over here we have this gearbox gearbox like toggle mechanism uh, the toggle allows four separate positions there is a slot here which has a little bit of a different uh, um, uh, off center square design there's a little notch over there on the left of it down and a little notch up there on the right of it up that allows this toggle to move in such a way that it operates different parts of the same mechanism now on the left side of this let's call it gearbox, you have your margin set and your margin clear. On the right side, however, you have your tab set and your tab clear. I'll show you how that works. Let's say that we are setting a margin. Move the carriage over. You take the toggle, you push it left and down. That just set a margin stop. So if I was to release the carriage over here and move the carriage back, you'll see that it catches on that tooth over there. And the reason it does that is because the tooth moves inwards. And the margin catch is on the inner side, or on the, on the um, side closer to the tight basket underneath this component. Now in order to clear that tooth, you take the toggle switch, push it left and up. Now this doesn't allow the toggle to move all the way up, which you would see on the right side. And I'll show you why that is. This is a three position key mechanism, or um, uh, yeah, we'll call, um, let's call these keys, key mechanism. So what that means is that the keys can move inwards or they can move outwards. In order to use or set a tab stop, you take the toggle, push it le uh, right and up. And as you can see, it surpasses that little notch that you see there on the left of it. That allows it to move further upwards, which allows you to set a tab stop over here. So move the carriage over, want it to stop on that notch over there, push the tabulator button and you see it stops on the same tooth that I just had set a margin on. I'll just give you a quick overview of that. Uh, there is more interesting mechanics on this typewriter that I will cover once this machine is put back together. Um, so far it's been very cooperative in coming back to life. There is a bit of a story behind this that I hope to share with you, so stick around for the video and thank you for watching this one.